Lissy. Welcome back to The Trans Agenda. My name is Ivy Fisher and we have a lot to talk about today. Namely, let's talk about how I am so nasally right now. My allergies... My allergies are acting a fool. Please, give me a break. So recently I was pride in Atlanta and I had such a good time. It was so, 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 so... Today I wanted to talk about the importance of drag show etiquette and basically how you should treat people, performers, trans people, people that you don't even know. You know, walking down the street that you that don't you even don't know, even know, but you feel the need to touch us and put your hands on us and get in our space when we are just there to be in front of you to entertain. Or, hey, I was just walking at Pride, enjoying my park day, and uh, people were, like, touching me. So I just would like to talk about that. Let's sit and talk about that. First thing, in terms of drag show etiquette and watching a show, as a performer, I deal with a lot of hands-on, grabby people, you know, being a tall, statuesque beauty. Um, it's hard for me to go out and not have people want to come up to me and be in my personal space and try to get pictures with me. All of this is okay, especially if you are asking before. And if you're like wanting to come up to the performer and tip them, that's great. We love it. But sometimes people be trying to get too handsy putting their dollars where they don't really need to go. I don't really want your dirty dollars down there in my nether regions. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it's okay in any instance to dig your hand so far down somebody's pants that they can feel your dollars near the their taint. Um, I don't like that sensation, but outside of that, outside of being a performer and outside of being this sort of attraction, if you will, I don't like to think of being a performer as somebody who is like solely there to entertain um, because I feel like I'm always on stage even when I'm not performing, even when I'm not in drag. And I don't know if this is the experience of all trans people, but I hate that feeling of our bodies being so easily accessible to people that don't even know us. Strangers that feel they have the right to touch us, look at us, speak to us in ways that are completely like socially unacceptable, terribly rude, extremely invasive, and not any sort of like constructive piece of conversation is added to it. And I kind of just went into this deep thing, but it all ties into the Pride story and what Pride started out to be and um, what people have made it to be now. You know, Pride started with black and brown trans women fighting for the rights of everyone. All gays, lesbians, bisexual people, like everyone. And it was taken from them and turned into a celebration of white queer culture and white gay culture. And not even like queer culture was included in that. It was predominantly cis gay males. And I'm just seeing as a black trans performer, these are the same people that um, mainly feel they have the access to me and my body in ways that it's not out there to be like that. The disrespect of our bodies and the invasion of our personal space when we're out, when we are working, when we're vulnerable, when we are just there to do what we have to do, it is unnecessary. And another facet of this whole thing that annoys me as a trans woman is that we are made to be so like novelty and like kitschy, cute, like you can like pick us up and toy around with us, like we are objects, like we're objectified. And the way that people treat us and the way that people talk to us, um, it's very like dehumanizing in a way to go out and feel like anybody can just 
have access to you. And trans people, y'all know these girls are not gonna listen. So here's what I need y'all to do. If somebody comes up to you and touches you in a way that you don't want to be touched, you can absolutely, proudly, and profoundly say, don't touch me, do not touch me. It has taken me such a long time to get to the point of where I was telling people like, you need to go, like you need to stop touching me, like you need to get out of my face right now. But you have to do that, y'all. You have to put your foot down. You have to assert yourself because we live in a society, unfortunately, where trans people are not taken for serious. Trans people are just there for everybody. But like I had it happen this weekend and I had to tell that man to go. Like we are not playing around here. This is not preschool. This is not recess. This is not recess. So yeah, y'all, shut it down, shut it down. Put your foot down or shove it up somewhere. <laughs> Don't allow yourself to be a commodity. Don't allow yourself to be somebody's plaything, unless it's consensual. Don't allow someone to have access to you in that way because that, you never know what people have been doing. Some of y'all stink. I, okay, I'm not, that's all I have to say. I'm so... <laughs> Oh my goodness, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, we'll see. Bye, we'll see. Happy spooky season. Happy spooky season. Happy spooky season. Happy spooky season.